Ahí FEM.
slap.
my parents live here? And same.
doing the running.
Going after by Womack is good. Thank you, 
going to carry.
Hand off to number 20. Thank <laughs> you. 
carry. Guards are standing deep.
said you need to practice, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really rusty. <laughs> there is C for the Merkle Badgers. Badgers stopped by several. First and ten for the Badgers.
Down for number 55. Second down, seven for the Badgers. But formation. six months in business. I like the hour and 15 minutes flight. It's aimed towards uh, uh The last possible moment. Are the guys building the perfect gift for mom? I want to see your face light up on Mother's Day. Why is it a flamethrower? Home improvement. Anchors, bulldozers, trucks, and men from six big country fire departments have scattered themselves over hundreds of acres in Callahan County. They were out here last night. Uh, I wasn't. I was at work. I work in Abilene during the evening. And, uh... Wayne, there are two main reasons for changing the boundary lines of state district courts. One reason, Texas has been sued by some individuals who say the at-large system for electing judges violates the voting rights of minorities. The second is that in 1985, Texans voted for a constitutional amendment to have the legislature redraw the judicial boundary lines after each census. And three years after the 1990 census, still no map. The process of judicial redistricting is a game of zero sum. If you expand one judge's jurisdiction, you are taking away from another. West Texas judges and lawyers sounded off this week in Sweetwater at the third of nine public hearings on redrawing the state judicial map. I think that all of us know and believe that justice or government that stays the closest to the people is more accepted by the people. 
The Texas legislature failed to tackle judicial redistricting in the last session. Lawmakers say they had a full plate of more pressing issues, like the court deadline for school finance. We found that really the system was working reasonably well. There was no reason to rush into it, and a, uh, a testimony taken over two years would probably be more uh, beneficial than testimony taken in the heat of a very rapid legislative session. Texas Supreme Court Chief Justice Tom you Phillips have. chairs the State Judicial you know, District right. Board, charged now with coming up with new lines. Phillips has offered two plans of his own to carve up the boundaries, but admits it's not an exact science. But if I go from our home base in Casco to Jayden, which is my father's county, it's about 60 miles. If I go over there to hear a five-minute uncontested divorce on an uncontested calendar, I'm there a half a day, and you can't get out of there in less than about a half a day. The majority of testimony given in Sweetwater weighted heavily to keeping the current lines the way they are right now. Chief Justice Tom Phillips and his board now have until August 31st to submit a plan to the Secretary of State's office. And the Texas legislature will vote on any new judicial redistricting plan when it convenes in 1995. And so it won't be another, it'll be another year, year and a half before we find out whether the legislature approves of the map. And depending on where they draw the lines, it could uh, hurt a person's right to a fair and speedy trial. Certainly a speedy trial, it could mean a longer drive for uh, these inmates or these those charged of crimes to travel to Dallas or Lubbock or wherever to get their fair trial. Most of the judges and lawyers who attended the public hearing say a singular judge serving a smaller jurisdiction is the answer and it's what the people want. Following up on the issue of home health care, today Concepts of Care opened office downtown at the Musgrave Plaza. The company, which has been in Abilene for 25 years, is expanding its operations. Uh, we are a home health organization providing skilled nurses and home health aides to help take care of the patients who have a difficult time trying to get uh, to the doctor to get uh, personal care that would ordinarily either end up in the hospital or in a long-term care placement. The home health care delivery service is a rapidly expanding market due to the high cost of health care and problems with access to quality care. We're going to see more and more of home health care services uh, popping up all over the country. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. Well, coming up next, the NCAA hands down a ruling today on a college football powerhouse in a pay-for-play scam. Details are next. And the Texas Rangers tangled with the Yankees in an afternoon affair in the Bronx. Steve will have highlights next in sports. Just when you thought you'd heard it all, Bill Wilson's Big Country Chevy Geo and Snyder will save you money now on 93 model closeouts. 94s are already here.